feeling burden whenever you come to pray. I do not know you personally, Muhammad, but I can tell you that when a person, now I'm speaking in general, when a person makes a perfect wudu and that forgives his sins and walks to the prayer and walks with khushu'ah, Wallahi, I swear to the Almighty Allah, it lifts his burden. It gives him sweetness in his heart. It gives him comfort in his brain, in his mind, in his heart. It soothes his thinking. It comforts him. As-salah, the prayer, is a source of comfort. The greatest source for comfort is the prayer. The Prophet ﷺ said, If I'm not experiencing that, I gotta ask myself, I gotta question myself what I have been doing. You know, somebody spend the night watching porn or drinking or whatever. Then you ask him to come and pray Fajr. Wallahi, if you ask him to move a mountain, it may be easier than praying Fajr. Not because just that he cannot do it. It's because he's warded off. Allah doesn't want him. A man came to Al-Hasan al-Basri, may Allah be pleased with him, and said, it's very weird that every night I prepare the water for my wudu so that I get up to pray Fajr or even pray before Fajr a few rak'ahs. But I never wake up. So I said, You know, your sins have shackled you down. You're tied up. You're not invited. And that's why sometimes after we pray Fajr in the masjid or Isha, I turn around and I address the viewers and I know that you got, and I say, you guys, do you know that you're the best of the best, you're the elite. Why? What makes us the best? Because he invited you. And when the greatest invites, when the greatest host invites selected people, that means those people are loved by him, appreciated by him. There are hundreds of thousands of people are walking in the streets, Muslims. But none of them is invited. You're invited. So you should be appreciative to that. And when that happens, that gives you a pleasure that those who are walking outside or busy with the trade and business, they do not experience it. When you know that you are on Allah's side, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُعْطِي الدُّنْيَا لِمَنْ أَحَبُّ وَلِمَنْ لَمْ يُحِبُّ وَلَا يُعْطِي الدِّينَ إِلَّا لِمَنْ أَحَبُّ The Almighty Allah grants the dunya wealth, leisure, pleasure, children, business, position, positions uh, to everyone whether he likes them or even he hates them because it's insignificant. It isn't even worth a wing of a fly. But whenever Allah grants the love of the deen, makes a person an obedient servant, he likes to do ta'a and acts of worship, that's a sign that he loves him.